Hi there, Canada. Um, I'm Randy Wester, as a winemaker here at, at Clanwood Farm, uh, the producer of Dombush Club Wines. Uh, we are very, very happy to, to know that our wines are going to Canada and that you guys are tasting our wines. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity just to tell you a little bit uh, about Clanwood. The, and, and about the wines that you, you'll be tasting and especially the terroir where it's from. Clanwood um, Farm, Farm was uh, bought in, in the year 2000 by the de Villiers family. Uh, it's a family owned farm, it's a small, it's a small estate, definitely a boutique style estate. Uh, 10 hectares under vineyards and a uh, hectare and a half on, under olives and the rest of the farm is, is just planted under uh, Indigenous farm, uh, indigenous plants, uh, feinbos, uh, which is which is uh, uh, plant, plants from, from from the Cape area, and, um, and then we also plant a lot of trees in our forest, which are also indigenous, and uh, we really make sure to look after nature in that regard. Um, we're situated in in the Upper Blauklippen Valley in Stellenbosch, in the Western Cape. Great wine growing area. Nice warm summers, cold winters, not Canadian cold, but, but cold enough for the, for the vineyards to, to stay healthy and um, great soils for, for growing uh, red wine especially, but also our own, our own white wines also do very well in, in, in the upper block of the Barry Valley. Very mountainous area, we're surrounded, um, almost surrounded by, by two mountains, the Stellenbosch Mountain and the Halderberg Mountain. Farm on the food slopes of the Halderberg, nice clay rich soils, uh, but also down in the valley where the Blauklippen River runs, we've got nice sandy soils. So, two prominent um, soil types, and uh, this adds to the complexity and the expression of our wines. Um, if I can go to the wine that you guys are tasting, starting off with the 2020 rose, it's a syrup, syrup produced rose. Grapes we farm are farmed specifically to be rosé. Uh, when it comes to the winery, we put it into the press, keep it on the on the skin for about two hours, uh, we press it uh, nice and light so we get good colour, but not extracting too much tannins. It's a nice fresh rosé, perfect for a spring day, summer's day. Uh, but my philosophy in winemaking is to a wine with texture as well so it goes well with food so there's some weight on the wine it's a serious rosé that you can enjoy with food uh, anything from a nice salad to, to uh, a grilled tuna um, it works well in, in, with food in that regard um, wine making principles very basic we put it in stainless steel fermented in stainless 10 percent of the wine is um, fermented in barrel which adds a lot of the texture, um, in my opinion. And then uh, we kept on the lease for four months and then we bottle it. So that is our rosé. Um, our Viognier, 15% uh, of the Viognier is also Roussan, both Rhone varietals, uh, Rhone area varietals. And well, again, the texture of this wine is very important to me. The, the Roussan definitely adds to that. The Viognier is planted on the sandy soils and you get amazing perfume from those grapes. Um, nice perfume, bit of spice and um, kind of peach apricot is the main fruit uh, characteristics. Uh, wines fermented in barrel, fermented in a concrete egg and also fermented in stainless steel. We pick the grapes early in the season so good fresh acidity and a really really good food wine because of the complexity of the aromas um, a wine worth aging as well you can drink it now but definitely will benefit from two to three years aging the wine just develops more um, in the bottle the aromas become even more complex than it already is then if we move on to our black shop wine the Dambush Club Syrah we really pride ourselves in, in red wine production. Um, the, the, we've got six different clones of Syrah on the farm. So 80% of the vineyards are planted under Syrah. But 
which there are six clones. These clones each have their own characteristics um, from a different berry size to a different bunch size and leaf size. So all those small little variables adding to the complexity of our wine. We age the wine in, in, in wooden barrels. Now behind me you can see we've got a poudre as well now. So a 300 liter, 500 liter and a 5000 liter barrel which comes into play and 15% um, of the oak is new so we, we add the barrel, the, the oak to the wine rather just to, to add some complexity, add some oak nuances to the wine rather than overpowering or overbearing the wine. Um, for us it's really about expressing the terroir, expressing what clay dirt is rather than just adding a lot of oak to the wine. So for us it's really important, so when you pour a glass of clay dirt wines, um, it has the ability to turn a meal into a memory and the only way we can do that is by expressing what clay dirt is and not uh, producing a wine that is generic. A lot of everyone on the farm works quite uh, hands-on with everything that we do on the farm. Um, from the vineyards, right through the cellar, right through the sales team. We're a small integrate team um, and uh, hopefully you guys taste that as a, as a golden thread in our wines. Thank you very much. Enjoy it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask us. Uh, we are always willing to, to make new friends and, and invite you to come and sit around our table.